Oh shit, I'm recording. So four slip is mm, a bit year. Well, hello again. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So it's monthly favorites time. Time for another installment. This will be the sixth of the year. We're doing June favorites. So yeah, June is the sixth month. June was also my birthday month. So I had a very nice time. Um, I turned 32 which is kind of depressing, but I had a good time. We actually vlogged, we went um, to a hotel for a couple of nights and we vlogged it, so I'll link it down below. It's our very first vlog me and John did. And um, yeah, I think it, it, it turned out as well as it could have because we were both really awkward and uncomfortable, but we tried our best and uh, I kind of edited it all together. So I'll link it down below if you want to see it. But this video is going to be a look back on some of my favorites for the month of June. So if you want to see what I've been loving, just keep watching. So first up is something that I bought for myself for my birthday. Well, my mom gave me money. She does every year because I'm a picky little bitch. So um, I bought these, oh, they're very grubby, with the money from ASOS. And uh, you know the way every year, <clears throat> if you put your birth date in ASOS, they give you a 10% code to use. So I took advantage. They saw me coming. And uh, you know, I'm not saying I'm cool enough for these shades. I just bought them because I really liked them. So I got the, um, what are they, the Key X Desi Perkins. These are the black fades. As I said, I don't think I'm cool enough for them by any means, but I just really, really wanted them. And I wanted a pair of big aviators for ages. And who is it? It's Nicole Guerrero, who all, well, every lo loads of people wear them. But Nicole Guerrero in particular always has these on. And I just think she looks like a cool ass bitch. And... I bought them for myself. So um yeah, with the 10% discount, I think they worked out at about 45 quid, which I don't think is the worst. Like it's grand. I always buy in pounds on ASOS. I think the conversion rate is always better rather than buying on Euro in Euro. They're they're actually they're my first pair of key sunglasses and they're made really well. Um I've been wearing these a lot to the gym because I don't like really wear makeup to the gym. I wear like a little bit of base or whatever. And um John bought me a cap, a New York cap for my birthday as well because that's something I wanted for going to the gym. And I've been wearing these on the cap and you can't see my face, which is great. Although John keeps asking me, am I going to direct films? Because I look like a director with the big glasses on the hat. But like, screw him. I think I look cool. So my next fave is another sort of fashion related favourite. I am thoroughly enjoying the throwback to 90s fashion. I am embracing it fully. I was like... Um, I was born in 1985 so like I kind of my early teens were in the 90s and I bloody loved like dressing like a boy I was a big tomboy and that has severely come back to me now because I'm doing it again I'm wearing like baggy jeans baggy um t-shirts and runners and I'm completely okay with it I'm very aware that band tees are out before the 90s like in the 70s and 80s obviously when the bands were out and about was band t-shirts but I think it was a bit of a trend in the 90s too and um obviously it's coming back around they're in all the shops at the minute but I do have two rules when I'm buying them the first one is that they have to be a fish, official merchandise and the second one is I ha actually have to know the band of the t-shirt that I'm buying so like I'm a pretty like I'm a pretty I, I, I like music I like old school music um I don't, it's not something I really talk about on my channel because it has never come up. But I'm um yeah, I'm a big music fan. So uh I only buy banties of music that I actually like and that I know some songs of. So I have three here just to kind of show you. This one is official merchandise, but it's kind of ripped like the yeah, it's it's kind of ripped and made look a bit more grungy. So I actually have two ACDC ones just because I bought this one at Penny's and then I saw a black one in H&M and I really wanted that as well. So I have an ACDC one here. I have another ACDC one, which I think is probably my favorite because it's uh, super soft and comfortable. I always kind of buy them a, a bit bigger than I actually am because I want them to be kind of slouchy and I don't like my arms. So I don't want them to be too tight around my arms too. So I have another ACDC one. What the one I have here? I have a blondie one as well. I have a Guns N' Roses one. I usually wear the Guns N' Roses one to the gym because it's a bit too big. Oh yeah, I have a Bon Jovi one here. This is my latest one because it's the tour from the year I was born. So I had to get it. It just spoke to me. Yeah, I'm thoroughly embracing it. I'm loving wearing 
like baggy jeans, well not too baggy because I'm not a small person and I would look like a potato, but somewhat comfortable jeans and a banty and it's been really flat on my boat, particularly over the past few weeks. So had to add it in. The rest of my faves are beauty related. This one, I didn't think it was worth mentioning, but I thought I would throw it in because it is something I've been quite enjoying. These are little half lashes that I bought on eBay for I think 99 cent. And they're not exactly well made or anything like that, but I just bought them off chance. And um, I do like lashes, but I don't always find that full strips suit my eye shape. They can kind of close my eye in and make me look a bit squinty. So um, I am kind of careful with the shapes that I buy and I don't buy anything with too thick a bands because they just don't look good on me. I wish they did, but they don't. But I find these ones in particular are super small and just kind of give a bit of elongation on the outer edge and they're super easy to apply because sometimes if I'm going somewhere and I'm kind of putting on a full face of makeup, I get a bit panicky and putting on lashes can be a bit of a dramatic process. So I find these are really simple because you can kind of just like pop it on and it kind of just sits on your lashes and it's grand and you don't have to worry about like blending in the, the band or anything because they're like really small and natural. So um, yeah, I just wanted to add them in because they were 99 cent from eBay and they're grand. My next fave is an old favourite, but I repurchased a new one and that is why it's my favourite now. Are you still with me? It is a Real Techniques um, makeup sponge. As you can see, I've just been using this one. It's all nice and fluffy and dirty. I, like, I've always had one of these in my collection. I've had a beauty blender and like the other kind of facets of these too. And I found that I wasn't using it as much. And I realized now it was because it had gotten a bit old and it had ripped a little bit from c continuous washing. And I wasn't feeling as nice on my skin and it wasn't as kind of fresh. So I picked up a new one and I've fallen in love with it all over again. I didn't realise how bad they get at the end of their lives and how important it is to kind of keep kind of replenishing them in your collection because they do kind of get a bit grubby and a bit hard around the edges. So um, I've been loving having a new one of these. It's so soft and fluffy and I really like applying like cream products with it. And these ones are super cheap as well. I keep meaning to buy a normal beauty blender as well to kind of compare and contrast because I can't remember if I like the original beauty blender better. And obviously this is only $8.99 and they're like 20 quid. So I really have to buy one and kind of do a comparison. But so far I've been digging my new Real Techniques sponge. My lovely friend Suzanne um, got me, well Suzanne and her partner and baby Ava, my godchild, got me a voucher for Ingloff for my birthday and I went in and spent a few bob and bought a few bits. So I bought a couple of eyeshadows and I bought a couple of gel liners and I have the brown one on today but the one I've been wearing a hell of a lot but obviously I never seem to wear what I'm talking about when I'm filming because I kind of put them in a pile and then they're not in front of me when I put my makeup on. But this liner in number 70, I just bloody love it. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you've seen me whoring this out because I've been wearing it nonstop. Um, I just think it's really, really cool and it kind of adds a pop to the eyes and it's super long wearing, like it, it sticks around forever. In fairness, Inglot gel liners are fucking brilliant. They're so good. But this one has just been floating my my June boat, and I have like haven't been able to get enough of it. I've been wearing it like with very minimal makeup, with more full on makeup for nighttime and during the day as well. And I get so many compliments and questions on it because it kind of it does look a bit interesting, but it's not too kind of holy shit what she's wearing on her face. Yeah, I just really really like it, so I have to add it in. I swear when I'm filming my favorites, I feel like I don't breathe enough, and then I start talking really really fast. <sighs> My second to last favourite is, again, another oldie but a goodie. It's Hula by Benefit. I got this in a press pack with some of the new... Oh, it was with the new, um, like... It was with this, the like the Hula products that are new to Benefit. So, like, there's a, a contour stick, there's a new highlighter, and there's a Benefit Hula light as well. But this is the original one, and... I've had this many times over the years, but because I've so much makeup, I don't always tend to report just something. Because if new things come out, I will like buy the new things. But obviously this was in the press pack, and I'm so glad it is because it's a bloody brilliant bronzer. I actually have, if I can grab it here, 
I've, I had bought, I remember a few years ago, uh, we were on an airplane and I bought like a, one of them hula, um, like to go sets with like all the little minis and like there's a couple of eyeshadows and stuff in them. And there was a mini hula in it and I actually keep it in this palette because I love using it on my eyes. So that's the only hula I have at the minute. So I'm delighted to actually have a big one that I use on my face as well. But it's just a really great, it's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's not too dark. You know, the light one is lovely too, but I do, like, I'm, I like to kind of warm up my face a little bit because I am quite pink toned. And I just, it's a great matte bronzer. I'm not always a fan of the packaging, but to be fair to it, it is quite robust um, cardboard. I say that as I can't close it. Um, there we go. It is quite robust. Like it's not the worst packaging in the world and it is kind of their signature way of doing it. I always keep the little brushes as well because I think Benefit do great little brushes and I usually pop these in my handbag when I'm going out and about or whatever. Like there's one in my handbag now that I use for touching up too. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Hula and I'm glad to have it again in my makeup collection. So my last favourite is a skincare favourite and I believe I added The Ordinary into last month's favourites but I kind of did it as a collective and they were quite new to me so I was just saying that I was enjoying using them but this is probably the standout product for me and um, this is the AHA 30 plus 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 BHA, BHA 2% peeling solution. Like I'm no clinical scientist so I have it on my phone and I'm going to read what it does for you. So it says, um, alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs, exfoliate the skin's topmost surface for a brighter and even appearance. Um, BHAs also exfoliate the skin but in an extended function to help clear pore congestion. This combined solution offers deeper exfoliation to high visible blemishes and for improved skin radiance. The formula also improves the appearance of skin texture and reduces the look of fine lines with continued use. I've been using this probably once a week since I got it. When I first used it, it stinged and it kind of gave me a fright. It stinged, that's not correct English. It stung and it gave me a bit of a fright, but I had read up on it and people had said that was going to happen. So I was okay with it. But um, like I expected kind of my skin to be like peeling and stuff from using obviously like a peeling product with AHA in it. But you, you kind of apply it, it looks like blood on your skin, you have it on for 10 minutes and then you wash it off. And what I find it helps with is like the lumpy and bumpiness of my skin. I have like, I, I have a lot of makeup on and obviously a camera makes your skin look a bit better. In real life my skin isn't great. I'm prone to breakouts, not too many now that I'm in my 30s, but I have quite oily skin, I have dehydration on my forehead, like I have lines now from moving my face a lot, which is a pain in the arse, and I have really big pores across my nose and my chin and my T-zone in general, and um, I'm really prone to congestion and like blackheads and whiteheads and all that, and I'm finding with, well, well like I'm using the salicylic acid and the retinol as well, but I find with this in particular, it kind of makes my skin feel smoother, and I'm getting less blackheads. I don't know if it's a mixture of everything, but I'm kind of putting it down to this in particular because I think this is kind of the strongest product out of them all. And I'm just finding it a little bit easier to cope with my skin. Like I know, I'm holding my hands up and I'm not saying that like, of any like major problems that are like ruining my life or anything. They're not, they're fine overall. But like just sometimes, like I'm not really comfortable with not wearing makeup or anything like that. And I'm trying to get to that place. Like I know I'm not gonna get rid of my pores or anything like that, but if I can kind of keep them clean and keep them um, looking the best that they can look, I'll be a little bit more comfortable kind of heading out with no makeup on. And that obviously helps keep your skin clean at the same time because you're not applying makeup on it. So um, yeah, so far I'm really enjoying this stuff and it's super inexpensive as well. And it's like a really quick treatment, 10 minutes and you wash it off. I only use it, I only use it in the evening because um, it can make your skin kind of um, react to sunlight more. So if you're using it during the day, put whack on the sunscreen. But I just use it in the evening once a week. I might try and start using it twice a week. I've seen people doing that and they said like it works really well as well. But um, yeah, I will stop rambling now because that was a long ramble. And that's it for my June favourites. I always find it mad that I can make a pile of products or stuff every month that I can talk about that are kind of different or I can give an opinion on that I've been using more 
regularly in a month. It's really, really strange, but I swear it happens. I always take um, my monthly favourites really seriously and I kind of sit down and really think about it. So, um, yeah, I'll shut up rambling now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!